Mm. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to come up with something else. Okay, I'm reasonably happy with this. It's a little bit further set back than I want, but that might actually help with the center of gravity, a skosh. Um, I've got this uh, uh, little ball head um, with a quarter 20 mount into this little phone mount that I've got. Um, this looks really chintzy, but it's actually pretty freaking like, you know, normal flight stuff. That's gonna be fine. A crash obviously is gonna be um, upsetting to it, but so that's pretty well locked in there. Um, so yeah, so I guess we'll take this out to the field, try a few different settings and see what we can get out of it. I'm pretty stoked about how that looks though. <laughs> okay, we are cruising over to the field to test these things out. Unfortunately, got some, uh, little baby gates. They're like tiny whoop size. Um, but uh, yeah, I forgot to take them out of the car before I took off again, but that's fine. I didn't put the uh, cameras both on, there's like the phone and the GoPro on the same quad, just because I wanna give myself the best chance of not destroying my own phone. Like this is my actual current phone. It's not like a test phone or like an extra phone. It is my Note 10 plus. Uh, so I don't want it to get too hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that I give it the best chance of success possible to not get damaged. So I've got the, and then, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll compare basically four different flights. First will be phone unstabilized, no uh, stabilization turned on on the phone uh, in 4K, uh, uh, 30 frames. We'll take the GoPro, we'll do the GoPro in 4K, 30 frames, compare those two side by side, both in the ultra wide view. Um, the S10 has like this ultra wide lens. And then the GoPro will obviously be in super view. Unfortunately, it won't be the same exact flight, but I'll try to get similar kinds of flights. And then I will do a second flight where I'll turn the stabilization on on the phone and compare that against super view with hyper smooth on. Um, I might do one with real steady. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Um, but that will kind of give us a good stopping point of seeing like how, how does the phone look compared to GoPro? Uh, how does the stabilization work? Because the stabilization is actually pretty amazing in phones these days. So I'm kind of excited to see what that looks like. And then just comparing like a couple of the different settings uh, or the color profiles and color pictures of the two cameras I think will be interesting to see. Because the, I mean, cell phone cameras really are just amazing these days. So we'll take a peek at that and hope for the best. Dude, why are there people here? All right, slightly new spot to me, but looks like it's kind of interesting. We've got some soccer nets over there, some good uh, trees, though they're a little bit scraggly. That might not be great. Um, just a little bit to play with, but uh, yeah, dude, people are out in droves today. It was like the first kind of nice day in a while, and uh, it's hard to find a spot, to be honest. Oh, my poor phone. I already feel, I already have bad feelings. You know how like every time I go out to film, I end up smashing something? This is the one thing I don't want to smash. But we got to do it for science. <laughs> so I guess we'll start unstabilized first, see how that looks. I do love the dynamic range that the phones have. I feel like that's going to be one of the biggest features. Sick. Seems to fly. Let's do it.
Oh, that is terrifying. The, uh, so like one of the things that's weird is because it's such a flat surface, the, uh, the phone like has, creates like aerodynamic effects on it. That's like making the whole thing go just bananas. Ugh, let's watch that back. Like just like it, the wind starts pushing off of it and it just goes crazy, dude. Dude, that looks so good. That actually looks phenomenal. Now remember, this is totally unstabilized, so it's just like straight out of body, but it actually looks really good. <laughs> cool. Okay, so let's put it on stabilized mode. Uh, swap out the battery and try it again. The problem with the stabilized mode on the Galaxy is that it really zooms in the footage. Um, like you can't use the ultra wide or you can use the ultra wide, but it, it really is. So like this is stabilized. I'll try to frame this up. So I'm looking at, I'm pointing at the camera. So this is stabilized. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to keep the same frame. I'm going to unstabilize it. Now this is unstabilized. So you can see the difference in field of view there. It's uh, it's a, it's a lot. Trying to keep this thing pointed the right direction is a pain in and of itself. I think that's enough test footage to have without risking breaking my phone. Two good flights, no crashes. Yeah, that, uh, I'm just gonna call it there with flying my phone because I don't have that Best Buy insurance plan on it. I do have a Verizon one, but it's expensive and stupid. But uh, yeah, so just letting you know I'm risking it for the biscuit here. Although I do really want to do an Instagram live really quick. Let's take a look at that. I think the field of view is gonna mess with me a little bit. Oh yeah, it's very narrow. I don't know, I'll, I'll reserve my judgment until we get it back on the computer. It does look nice and smooth though. But yeah, it's a very narrow field of view. It's definitely not enough camera tilt. But the ultra wide looks really good. So we'll run one on the, a couple on the GoPro really quick uh, so that we have something to compare it against, uh, something that we are used to. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll figure out what else to do.
That was one of the weirder crashes I've ever had. Luckily it was like at the end of the pack when I was just like, all right, let's just see what else we can get of it. But uh, ended up in kind of an interesting situation. <laughs> Hello. Noise. All right, so I think that'll do it for the testing for this video, the testing segment. We'll take the footage back, get the little bits of it processed that need to be processed, um, take a look at all the footage, and I'll try to upload every individual clip for you guys so you can check it out, see uh, what you like about which and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm pretty stoked with both the performance of the 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 phone either stabilized or unstabilized but the unstabilized actually looks really good to me so i'm excited to kind of stack that up against the gopro and see how it looks so thanks very much for hanging out um we'll see you back home stay flying so i'd be lying if i said didn't say i was a little bit disappointed in the way that this looks on the computer now that i got it back um like this is, so this is the actual file like fully on my computer here and you can see like the bitrate on the camera is starting to kind of give up like you see like how like washed out that is so this is playing black at it's full resolution like that you lose all of the details and the leaves and the grass and like some of it is motion blur like which is nice because it adds to the look of the video um makes it a little bit smoother and you can definitely tell a difference between like the gopro unstabilized and and the phone in terms of the motion blur like you see how everything is kind of super jumpy and sharp right, you might not be able to tell super well but like and then you watch the phone and it's it's a little bit smoother but the um just with the way the camera was mounted especially is not helping the tune of the quad and it's kind of like rocking around just a little bit which you know you have to forgive it for kind of being an afterthought on how it was mounted but like it does this extra like sharpening too like if you look at the nets there like right along this line it's just this really 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 harsh line and then you look at that same perspective with the um un smooth quad almost here it's much nicer like it's it really is just way over sharp on the actual phone size all right Let's scroll this around I don't know, it's just a little smoother, it's a little easier on the eyes, like the difference between, like look how the net looks, where it's kind of like blending into what is around it, and then this is just like this like, brah, harsh line, and like in this, like that over the whole um, image starts to just kind of wear down on you a little bit. So I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed, because like when I looked at it on the phone, it's like, oh, this is amazing. And then I look at it here, I'm like, eh. So... Maybe the GoPro is still better, and like, and then the the stabilization is kind of okay. Like, it looks fine in some shots. Like, there's this one, this like long sweeping shot that I did. This one, where I kind of just like hugged the ground. No, no, it was uh, yeah, right here. Just kind of like this looks pretty good. This it kind of looks like a Mavic shot. Like, it's a little bit low angle, but you know, it is what it is. And then like, when you change it, just like. Ooh, ooh. You know, watch when I change to like kind of start going up. Ooh, it just does that hitching again, which is, you know, it is what it is. This, and then again, like this, this looks pretty good right here. But then it just kind of all falls apart compared to, you know, hyper smooth, which is fine. Like I like the way hyper smooth looks. Obviously, I just flew a little bit more confidently with uh, a GoPro instead of. My phone <laughs> but um you know it's just like uh, okay this this still looks better uh and then you know and then we real study it and it's just like oh yeah oh yeah it kind of adds a little bit of motion blur too so it's not as choppy that still it's just the best looking to me it's kind of got some weird color going on i gotta figure out why it looks that way but yeah Disappointing. I was definitely hoping that I would be like magically surprised by the uh, the performance of the phone. Um, it's a good phone. 
good camera on it, but uh, it's still, I don't know, I still think prefer the GoPro for drones. Now, if I was like shooting myself, like a, like a face or like doing some talking stuff, like I think I would prefer to have the, the lensing of the phone and just kind of like without like having all of that intense action. And like, look at the, if, looking at the um, ultra wide, like there's times where like when I turn, like the trees kind of get all warped and bendy because I think there's that not only is there the like actual physical distortion from the lens, but I think there's some sort of digital stretching going on as well. Um, cause like there's some weird wonky, like you can see the trees kind of like wave back and forth as it goes through there. And it's, it's not from jello or anything like that. It's like, it's just kind of like, it's just bending it. So <sighs> pro tip, don't fly your phone. Just use a GoPro. <laughs> or an Insta 360 would be better. But so, thanks for watching. It was a fun little experiment. I was excited to just try it out, see what it would look like. Um, I was really hoping on the stabilization would be exciting, but I don't know. It's not really doing it for me. So, thanks very much for watching. Stay flying.